a logical component, a timing component, and a technical component to kissing a girl. And we'll go through all three in that order. First of all, psychologically, you need to know that it's okay to go for the kiss. It's okay to try. I remember when I first started dating, and um, I was terrified to get physical with girls. Um, I would actually do this thing where I'd like tap the girl like on the forearm as my method of getting physical with her um, because I was, I was so afraid of like offending or, or creating a bad reaction or a bad emotion. You have to understand, you have to take that risk. If a girl is with you on a date, she likes you. Take that as your baseline assumption. Even if it's your, you're picking up a girl like in a bar or you just met a girl on the street, whatever, um, still, <clears throat> if she stayed with you for a few minutes when she had other things to do, she likes you. Take that as your baseline assumption, okay? and go for the kiss. Um, understand that as a man, it is your job to kiss the girl. It's your job to escalate the conversation, both in terms of topic, but also it's your job to escalate physically. The woman won't usually do it for you. And typically, if you go for a kiss and even if it doesn't work out, the girl will usually respect you for trying. The, guy, the man who she really doesn't respect is the guy who doesn't make a move, is too scared, who, who lets that window close, and he ends up being in the friend zone. And by friend, I mean pathetic man without a penis zone. Okay, so don't end up there. Be the guy that tries. Um, I will tell you categorically that I have never had an interaction fail because I tried to kiss a girl. However, I've had many, many fail because I did not, because I missed my window. What happens a lot of times is if you do go for the kiss and she rejects you, she pulls away, whatever, um, it's still okay. She keeps talking to you and now she continues talking to you as the man who's tried to kiss her. So you're now talking to her as that man to woman frame. And understand the purpose of going for the kiss isn't necessarily to kiss her. That's less important than it is to convey that you're the type of guy who will try, the type of man who is a sexual being. Okay, so understand that just going for the kiss, even if you fail, is usually a positive in the interaction rather than a negative. Okay, so that's a little bit on psychology. Next, timing. Well, you wanna be going for the kiss at um, a time when you've been talking long enough that it's plausible and it makes sense. I mean, there are times when I've walked up to a girl and just made out with her as an opener, but that's very rare. That's, you know, one set in like a few hundred or whatever that'll happen. But most of the time there's some level of, it's been back and forth, um, there's, there's some sort of moment that's built between you, she, she likes you, she's laughed, you've had some conversation, and then you're gonna go for the kiss. And what you're gonna do in order to kind of prepare the kiss is two things. Number one, you're gonna slow the conversation down. It's very, very hard if it's like talk, 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 very hyper. That's not a situation that leads to a kiss. However, if it's like slow and sensual and calm and you're like gazing into each other's eyes and there's even like a little bit of tension in the air, a little bit of even awkwardness, that's gonna actually lend itself to that physicality and to a kiss happening. So you want to, um, to actually, rather than going away from the awkwardness, which is most, most guys do that, they'll go try and fill the silence, um, avoid the awkwardness, that sort of thing. What you wanna do is create the awkwardness, enhance the awkwardness, in fact, like put that tension on her and just be calm in yourself and be willing to deal with it, okay? And then lastly, what you wanna do is there's an idea in, um, in neuro-linguistic programming, it's a branch of um, hypnosis and, and psychology, um, that says go first. And what go first means is that when you're interacting with someone, any feeling you want them to have, you need to have first. So if you want to get someone excited, you should be excited and upbeat. If you want to get someone to be calm, you should yourself be calm and relaxed. If you want someone aroused and turned on, you need to get aroused and turned on. So before you're going for the kiss, start looking the girl in the eye, um, like being more sensual, being more slowed down, but also allow yourself to fantasize a little, allow, allow yourself to imagine the kiss, allow yourself to imagine her skin against yours, allow yourself to get a little aroused and turned on, and that will transfer to her as long as you're engaging with her, and that's gonna help things move along nicely, okay? So that's a little bit about how to set up the kiss in terms of timing-wise. You need to have some kind of interaction, and then what you don't wanna do is, you, we call it a phase shift, you bring the interaction level down, bring the, the, the attention, the energy level down, and, um, and make it just more sensual, more aroused, more turned on, and even, like I said, allow yourself to fantasize, allow yourself to get sort of like, almost like naughty thoughts in your head, um, because that's gonna transfer to her subtly in the way that you interact, okay? Now, how to go for the kiss itself. I'm gonna give you a few different techniques that I've used over the years. Um, the first one is probably the simplest. Uh, we call it triangular gazing. The way that it works, basically, is you're gonna slowly gaze from the girl's eyes to her lips, to her eyes, to her lips. It's called a triangle as though you go eye, lip, and other eye, lip, like, like in a sort of a triangular pattern. You don't have to be that technical, but the idea is just gaze between the eyes and the lips and the eyes and the lips, slowly 
like you're interested, back and forth, and she'll get the idea. And then as you do that, if she either like leans in or starts to like flush or, or, or get, get flustered or blush a little bit, um, or even just like doesn't lean away, then you'll begin to like lean in gradually as you're going eyes, lips, eyes, lips, lean in, and you can go for the kiss. So that's triangular gazing, really, really good technique to get a kiss. Uh, next technique I'm gonna teach you is, uh, we call this the, uh, the evolution phase shift. Uh, and the reason it's called that is it's, you're basically, um, you're gonna talk a little bit about potentially evolution. Um, the way this was originally conceived was, what you do is you talk about how, how kitten, kittens and, and dogs, you can like pull the back of like their, the scruff of their neck, and it's actually like a pleasurable experience for them because the, the mother, cat, or dog keeps them safe, et cetera. That's the derivation on this. And you go, go through that whole story if you want to, and you say like, you know, so for the, the cats and the dogs, um, this, and you can do it on her, allowed them to feel safe, and I think that's really beautiful that um, they were able to be taken care of by someone who really cared for them, et cetera. So you can do this whole like sort of like um, explanation of it, and that can add to the sensuality. But the big thing you're gonna do is just, you're testing. You're gonna test for things on the way to the kiss before you get to the kiss. So the first one that I would do maybe is like brush her hair out of her face a little bit and see how she responds to it. Then if she like backs off, be like, oh, it's okay, you have a hair in your face, but it's fine, you can deal with it, right? And it's not like you tried anything, you just tried to be polite and courteous so she can't really object. But if you brush the hair and she's okay with it, then go over the ear and then you can sort of like pull the hair. And when you pull the hair, then um, if she's receptive to that, and don't pull super hard, make it like a nice little sensual, you know, little pull of the hair. If she's receptive to that, then you can go ahead and know that you kind of have permission to go ahead and lean in and kiss. Okay, and you might not do it right then, you might wait a few minutes and then do it, but it's a good way to test and make sure you have permission before going for it, so it kind of reduces your risk, right? So both with the triangular gazing and with this, what you're doing is you're kind of doing something that's a light test, whether it be with like the vibe and the eyes or with the physicality to make sure that like she's somewhat receptive and that should give you more confidence to go for it. The biggest thing with, conf with kissing though is just the confidence to go for it. A lot of guys I know just go for the kiss and just like just go in and do it because they're confident and that works very well as well. Okay. Uh, two more techniques I'm going to give you guys. I, I think I promised you three. I'm going to give you four actually. Um, is uh, The next one is we call the eyes closed kiss. This is kind of like a gimmicky one. But the idea here is a lot of times the girl wants to kiss you but she doesn't want it to be her fault. She doesn't want to like, you know, um, have like been too easy or whatever. So sometimes you can tell like she's receptive to everything else, she's giggling at everything you say, maybe she, even she's touching you, but maybe you've tried to kiss her like lightly a couple times and she kind of didn't seem receptive to that. If you really want to get the kiss, by the way, if that's the case, a lot of times you don't need to kiss her yet. You can do other things like kiss her on the neck, just take her home, you don't always have to kiss a girl. But if you still want to go for the kiss, uh, what you can do is you say, hey, I need to tell you a secret, close your eyes. And then while her eyes are closed, just go ahead and kiss her. And the funny thing is sometimes they're like, oh my God, you tricked me or something. But most of the time, and by most, I mean like 99% most of the time, the fact that you've kissed one time, it's gonna make it easier to kiss them the next time. Um, and so it's like once that, that sort of frontier has been crossed, it can be crossed again and again. Okay, so that's another one that you can do that's very, very effective, okay? Last one I'm gonna teach you is uh, maybe one of my favorite ones, because it's just very ballsy. I call this one the gangster. Uh, and I, I consider this my kissing power move. So for this one, I want you to imagine like you are a girl on a date with me and you're holding like a glass of wine, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm sipping my wine, you're sipping your wine, it could be like whatever other thing. Um, and you could do this even without the drinks, but it's more powerful with something in your hands because it, it, it increases the drama. What I do is just go quiet, you can even shh, and then put my drink down and gradually get up, walk over, grab your drink, put your drink down and then lean in and kiss you. And as I do that, um, the great thing about it is it's so powerful and so strong and so obvious that by the time I've gotten about a third of the way through it, I pretty much have no choice but to go through with it. It'd be weirder and more awkward for me not to try and kiss at that point. And she knows it and she feels the same way and so she's, it allows all that tension to build up and she's like, oh my God, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And it can make this, the kiss very passionate and very exciting for her. Um, but again, it's a way to go for it. And even though she knows it's coming, if she were to stop, you'd be like, no, 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 you'd be like, what? And you can still back off, because you, even though she, she kind of knows that you're, what you're gonna do, and you knew it was what you're gonna do, you never actually made the move, or you never said, I wanna kiss you, or whatever. So you'd be like, no, 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 I was gonna tell you a secret, but that's just weird, and we're good now, right? You can back off without taking the risk. So all of these techniques are ways that you can go ahead and get the kiss, you can get it in a powerful way where you can be very masculine, very assertive, 
and lead the interaction and, and keep that, that strong, intense sexual frame, but you can also significantly reduce the risk of the bad rejection, okay? So get out there and try it, but the biggest thing to remember with a kiss is just do it, just take action. Have the confidence and understand that if you go for it and fail, you're still probably better off than if you didn't go for it. So go out there and kiss someone very soon.